The Dancer is one of the most powerful unit archetypes in Fey. Refreshing unit is an important asset for most teams. But as time moves on and more dancers are released, picking the right dancer for you is a much more thoughtful task, as suddenly they can do multiple unique things at once. The offensive dancer is a rare subgenre of dancer not often seen. It's an underrated tactic and many dancers really shine with sword in hand, as opposed to just being support bots. Let me show you what I'm talking about with some of these units. Be sure to leave a like if you uh, think this is a neat video. Also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And thank you so much for that click and I hope you enjoyed the video. Dancers have already been very good partners for gale forcing units. Users who just want to move again and again, always want a dancer, or multiple, to give them that extra bump. A dancer running Gale Force themselves really complements them. It can take out an extra unit that they wouldn't be able to if they simply danced. A dancer can still dance after they Gale Force, so it helps create momentum or even provide better positioning. You can also think of it like this. Let's say you have a 5 unit AR team. 3 Mythics in Air, Peony, with Wings of Mercy of course, and Mila. Then you have Gale Force Valoria and, let's say, Sylvia, a 3-4 star dancer. The goal is to get Valoria into the map, get a kill, Gale Force, get danced, get danced again, and hopefully leave the remaining team members unable to kill back. Valoria gets 4 actions, so she can kill 4 people at most. Now let's upgrade Sylvia a little bit more. Let's give Sylvia Gale Force, a Slaying Edge, Flashing Blade and the Seal, and is supported with said Valoria. If she also has IP and more HP than Valoria, both units should have a 2 charge Gale Force. In the same situation, Valoria goes in, gets 2 kills like before, but now Sylvia can come in, snipe a unit, then dance Valoria. Here is a sample defense team. I didn't do any calyx or anything, I just kind of threw this together to show an example of what I might be talking about, right? This is an IP team. Their trap placement leaves them open to be Gale Force, so you pick your Gale Force team. Mila, on turn 1, can smite Valoria into the Bolt Trap in front of Barrymond, which turns out to be real. Now Valoria goes in, kills Barrymond, and her Gale Force is active because she has Flashing Blade and a 2 turn Gale Force. She goes in further, and she kills Eldigan, which activates Wings of Mercy for Valoria. Now, Sylvia will warp in, and she's going to kill Sonya. This lets Sylvia Gale Force on her own because again she only needs one hit and she has her own two turn charge. She dances Valoria from below her so Valoria can move in and hit Triandra. Peony will come in and she's going to dance Valoria from the left side. This traps Lolina in place, unable for her to move out and kill anyone. Valoria, now danced, can finish off duo Alphonse and as a result the team is now defeated except for Lolina who can't move and now you can get the pot safely and finish the match. The most important thing to remember about making these Gale Force units work is pre-charge. The golden number of charges is 2, which means a single hit from a flashing or heavy blade will nearly guarantee an activation. If you can't make 2 charges work, then 4 charges can be fine, just be careful and plan ahead. Valoria was my prime example, since she'll minus 2 anyone she's supported with. Slaying weapons or quick and pulls can reduce these numbers, or infantry alleys with IP. There are some great examples of dancers you can try, such as Azura who can get access to its curtains and guarantee herself a 2 charged Gale Force with minimal effort. Gale Force is probably the hardest strategy to use, but potentially the strongest, and dancers can really help bring out the best. The logical conclusion most will think of when talking about offensively minded dancers is making them special nukes. Most dancers are infantry, so they'll use or benefit from infantry pulse or times pulse. Using a dancer as a nuke on an AR defense is convenient, especially in dark, when they might be isolated by Mila, so they'll still have the ability to function as units and provide much needed power to make up for their neutered support capabilities. They might not be as consistently powerful as a dedicated nuke, but from that consistency comes versatility. The units you want to use for this are ranged, obviously. Daggers are all great picks, thanks to a plethora of powerful daggers that exist, including the Hoshidan daggers that provide hardy bearing effective damage in a single weapon. The cleaner is a powerful tool that scales with how many buffs the foe has, which are very common on ARO as they should be, granting a unit a potential huge damage boost. Ouch Pouch is a free minus 2 to special charges, like its curtains, 
so a powerful special with high charge can really shine with this weapon. Mace Dancers are generally a bit more limited than their dagger counterparts, but they'll still get a lot of damage out with the right build. Dancer Makaya is one of the best dancers you can get right now. Her weapon, like the daggers, has hardy bearing and has dual effectiveness, including armor, which is very useful against certain common threats such as Brave Elagard. And of course, we cannot do this without talking about the Reinhardt, as well as Ishtar. Brave magical weapons can be really cool, so they get a lot of damage and mileage just like the original Reinhardt does. You want to be careful though, their max potential isn't as high as OG Reinhardt, especially for rarer units that will require more merges. They don't have this range either, but there's plenty they can be capable of, and plenty of units they can punch through if you go hard on their offensive investment. They also make great partners with the recently released Het, who is actually capable of pre-charging them. I think this should be the most important section of this video. Might be difficult to craft a dancer to fit a powerful role. But what can be just as, if not more important, is making sure they can duel powerful threats that your defense could risk losing to. Let's explain with a practical example. Winter Altina is a big threat for most people to deal with, and thanks to a sparkable banner, she's actually relatively common. A powerful dual face brave and special mix with NCD access and advantage duo skill. You get the idea. Most units die to her, but bring in Dancer Eldigan. Eldigan has high defense, color advantage, and high attack too. By equipping him with a slaying lance and bonfire, and assuming he either doubles or Altina hits first due to vantage, he will live, even through twin blades, and probably one hit KO with bonfire. Not only can this unit dance and avoid Mila's isolation, he can check one of the best tanks in the game. This is what I mean by a counterpick dancer. Running a very specific unit to counterpick one threat can spread your team thin, so making your dancer able to deal with certain specific units can give you some breathing room. There's a lot of potential here, and most units can be made to hard check a foe. For example, most mages can run TA Raventome, and even a breaker, to deal with certain common colorless threats or just threats they have colors advantage against. Mickey's hardy bearing weapon makes her a prime anti-bike unit with axe breaker, as her weapon guarantees her second hit bypasses the 80% damage reduction on the second hit for any non NFU bike. Not to mention she has that potential to one hit KO unit like, once again, Brave Adel. There are three bow dancers you can use, and there are a lot of flying mythics, so they can easily snipe units like Air or Peony. If you don't mind using some expensive fodder, Fina can be given DC to act as a check for cav lines or other cav related teams if you're playing on Air O. Just run some calcs so you know who she can and can't take on, especially if she's not highly merged. I'll give a special shout out for units like Ethlyn as well who comes with an inheritable NFU dagger and windsweep, allowing her to stuff out non-NCD units. If you don't have any units who can use dazzle or sweep well, but you happen to have an Ethlyn you want to use, she can make a good check to those units. Any of the other dagger dancers can pull this build off too, and it's a pretty good setup. Thanks for checking out my video, wanted to just talk about how using dancers in a different way than most people think could open up some cool new possibilities. So I hope you all learned something neat. Feel free to share in the comments how you have built your dancers, offensively or not, and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hope you all have a wonderful day.